because contour is about as complicated as it gets. <laughs> Hello everybody, today I am going to be doing the no mirror makeup challenge and this is going to be really hard because I am really, I'm not great at makeup, I I cannot do makeup without a mirror. This is going to be interesting, I'm just like kind of want to know what it, I'm going to look like at the end of it because I actually don't know how to make up. And as you can see I have no makeup on, completely pale, completely no makeup-y. Sometimes my camera decides it wants to turn off randomly which is really really annoying. So I'm going to keep my viewfinder on but I will really try not to look at it because I actually cannot see myself very well anyway that's why I've been faffing around with the lighting and stuff like that. Let's get on with it. I have all my stuff laid out here on a little table where I'm going to put my hair back with a really sexy headband. Okay so <laughs> this is so weird because I feel like I need to look at something while I'm doing this. I'm going to be using the Prime Magic by W7. It's like shows you how much we rely on mirrors and not how this is going to turn out plus it's like quite hot and um i'm pretty hot right now <laughs> i have primed my face the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to be using ah, my blending sponge where you going little buddy i'm going to be using the garnier roll-on under my eyeballs so i'm looking at my viewfinder just checking that i'm recording okay oh god this is so hard because i don't know how much i'm applying onto my eyes i'm gonna zoom into my face just so you can actually see what i'm doing i think that's blended i'm just gonna guess that it is because i can't feel any more stuff on my fingers so <laughs> that sounded weird. Right, next I'm going to be applying some foundation, which I'm quite terrified about because foundation is not my friend. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match foundation, which I don't get why it's a true match because it doesn't really match my skin that well. <laughs> Maybe I need to get another one. Well, apparently, also, I saw on Snapchat, I think it's like Cosmopolitan or something, that apparently to apply foundation you should stroke downwards because of your, your peach fuzz you know like the hairs on the side of like your face like here and your cheeks so i'm just going to apply more foundation here i might just put this over my eyes as well shush phone i love how my phone hasn't gone off like all day and now it's like gone off typical typical and i feel this is going to be really blotchy i haven't really i've decided not to wet my sponge for a while and see if i actually prefer it because when i wet my sponge i feel like it actually makes my foundation more like smeary. I don't know if it's because it's quite a thin coverage. It might actually, no it might be that. I don't really know. Yep guys I need to do the top of my head as well because I haven't really blended that much. I hope you can see me okay as well because the lighting's a bit naff today. Next we're going to be using the Lasting Perfection Concealer in Cool Medium 2 and we're just gonna, oh my god, how am I gonna apply some of my eyes? I can't even see. Alright, uh, one, two, three, haha, <laughs> la 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 la, one. This is so weird. Two, I'm counting because I'm making sure that I have put enough underneath my eyes. This is so weird. I feel like I haven't put enough on. I can't tell. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit more. I'm going to next use Physicians Formula Concealer in Glow. I don't actually know what shade this is. Oh god, this feels really wet. I think I've applied too much, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> but this is just an extra concealer. Oh my god, I didn't conceal any of my spots. But I can't tell where they are. They're normally like some are normally here and all the way around here, this bit. <laughs> I'm just going to spread this concealer out around my bits where there will be around my bit. I'll spread this concealer around my bits. <laughs> I'm going to be using the Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder in Transparent and I'm going to be using my setting brush. Sometimes I don't actually set my makeup because I actually don't wear makeup most of the time. I only wear, if I'm going to wear makeup like when I go out, I only use my Garnier Eye Roll On and some eyebrows. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, oh God, how am I gonna do my eyebrows? This is gonna be hard, man. I don't even know where my eyebrows are on my face. And I can't even hardly feel them. Oh my God, uh, here? I bet a lot of these challenges, people have ended up having really like good looks. I'm quite scared actually. I feel like I'm going too high up, but you know, I thought like this has turned into a complete mess. This just shows you how much you like, don't know what your face is. Like, like you don't know the area of your face because you're always relying on mirrors. I um, kind of feel like I want to set my brows, but I kind of don't feel like I want to if they look like poo. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to kind of do the ends because I always forget to do those bits. What I'm going to do is now, I'm going to do some eyeshadow. God help me. Um, I'm going to be using the White Eyeshadow by Body Shop and I'm going to apply that, apply that as my base. And we're going to go nice and simple as we always do on this channel. Nice, simple makeup. We don't do anything complicated because contour is about as complicated as it gets. So we're going to put some white eyeshadow on the base of my lid using the base shadow brush by Real Techniques. I didn't really prime my eyelids so hopefully this will come out okay the colour won't be too dark. 
the New York Colour Ambassador Broadway palette. It's got four colours in it and it is really good. I've got it's three pounds off eBay. I'm going to be using the two colours at the top here. Where's my eye? Okay, it's here. <laughs> and then we're going to be using the angled shadow brush and we're going to be using the top colour. Tap, tap. It's a black colour in the end. I'm not sure if I want to use that or not. We're just going to start at the corner and then work our way in. Do the same to this eye. And then I'm gonna go in again with my base shadow brush with the white eyeshadow, put it underneath my eyebrows. Right, so I'm gonna be using the Gelas crease brush and I'm just gonna be blending this out. I feel like I always have to have a blending song every time I do a makeup tutorial or anything to do with makeup. Anytime I'm blending, I'm like, do do do. All right, I'm not gonna do eyeliner because I'm scared. <laughs> going to be brave. I'm going to be using the Too Faced. I'm just gonna cover that mirror up. I'm gonna be using the cheek brush. Tappy, tappy, tappy. We're gonna be blending that in. And I actually haven't got a highlighter that I can use. I do wanna use a highlighter, but I haven't got one right now. I do need to buy one, I really do. So now we're gonna use mascara. <laughs> kind of freaked out right now, but we're gonna try it. I'm gonna be using the Lash Sensational Mascara by Mebelli New York. Okay, my eyelashes are here. I'm scared. That's why I want to close my eyes. I can't actually go in the middle because I'm scared. I'm gonna poke myself. That's as much as I'm gonna do right now. You'll be able to see up close in a minute. I'm gonna show you guys what I look like. All right, so now we're just gonna do my lips. I'm just gonna put some Mint Balmy on. And then I'm gonna be using the Butter Gloss by NYX in shade angel food cake that smells really yummy actually I'd, I'd eat that oh my god i've never actually noticed how yummy this smells it smells like strawberries wow that smells amazing i actually think that we're done i'm gonna turn my viewfinder around right now so i can't see myself hopefully it's still filming and we're going to focus on my face and you guys can see what i look like before i see what i look like here I go, coming towards you, hello. This is what I look like, hi, can't see what I look like. Okay, right, I'm gonna turn the viewfinder now. Good luck to me. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Oh, I'm actually pleasantly surprised, wow. Oh my God, apart from this eyebrow, wow. Let's just zoom up on that right now. It looks like I've added in like extra, oh my God. I missed my crease, <laughs> what a mess. I like this side though, this side's good. Uh, this eyebrow is completely messed up. I'm just gonna like, blend that in. I don't have to look at that anymore. But I'm actually really, really surprised. I'm actually gonna go get a mirror now and actually see what the damage is. It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Apart from the little crease. I've got a really creasy forehead, but you can't see that because I've up the brightness on my uh, camera. <laughs> This eyeshadow needs to be sorted out though. Thank you for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Can you hear the birds singing? Really cute. Thank you for watching guys. And if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed me kind of suffering and figuring out whether um, I'm good at makeup or not, which I know I'm not. And if you liked the video, please get a big thumbs up. And I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. If you like this video or any other videos on my channel, then please go check me out. My name is Vicky Wishes. I'm down below. Just click that subscribe button if you want to be part of this little fan fam. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys. I love you all. Bye. I just got lipstick on my hand. Mm -hmm.